This VW EcoUp is currently the world's most fuel-efficient natural gas-powered car. And natural gas is more environmentally sound than the classic fossil fuels anyway. And in Germany, at least, it's cheaper, too. The alternative engine technology does not mean much adjustment for the driver. Fuel is tanked the same way, even if the tank opening and nozzle are a bit different. A full 11 kilo charge of natural gas gives the EcoUp a 380 kilometer range. But the car also has a 10 liter gasoline tank as a reserve which the maker says extends that range by a further 220 kilometers. Car tester Chris Kestius says the car has wonderful handling, almost no different from a gasoline-powered car. The ecological model doesn't go in for visual extravaganzas. The EcoUp is available in a two-door and a four-door version. But the EcoUp has a recognizable rear, and we can breathe a sigh of relief about the trunk volume. Chris notes that unlike with many other natural gas-powered cars, the EcoUp's large fuel tanks are under the car, not in the trunk. Under the small hood is an all-new 1-liter 50-kilowatt motor with a maximum of 90 newton meters of torque. But specially trained mechanics are needed when work has to be done on the motor. Volkswagen says the EcoUp burns only 2.9 kilograms of natural gas per 100 kilometers, the equivalent of 4.4 liters of gasoline. So the fuel needed to cover 100 kilometers costs only a little more than 3 euros. That's 50% less than a comparable gasoline-powered car. The alternative fuel system has now arrived on the racetrack, too. This Scirocco R-Cup has 173 kilowatts of power and a maximum torque of 275 newton meters. In a race car, it doesn't matter that the fuel tanks take up much of the back seat. Volkswagen began working on natural gas engines in the 1990s. Initially, they were an add-on. But today, the Caddy, the Touran, and the Passat are all available as natural gas cars direct from the factory. And now there are technologies to turn natural gas into a liquid, making it easier to transport large quantities of it. Tim Kaler, CEO of a company that promotes natural gas, says the trend is booming all over the world. 15 million such cars are already in use, and they are a low-priced way of keeping the air clean. If nothing is done to lower emissions, the megacities will suffocate in smog. One of the greatest advantages of natural gas cars is that they can also run on biogas, methane, one from vegetable waste matter. When biogas is burned, the amount of CO2 released is exactly what the plants remove from the air when growing. Methane generators produce artificial natural gas by letting biomass from waste decay, explains Mr. Kaler. The resulting gas is purified and fed into the natural gas pipeline network that supplies natural gas filling stations. He says natural gas thus produced reduces CO2 emissions by more than 80 percent. Natural gas mobility is almost emissions free. The EcoUp costs 13,000 euros in Germany. According to our car testers' calculations, a natural gas car has a price tag 2,500 euros higher than a gasoline-powered vehicle. But with fuel only 3 euros per 100 kilometers, the difference is covered after about 40,000 kilometers. In the fall, Volkswagen will expand its selection of natural gas-powered cars with a version of the new Golf.